What exactly drove you to the place where you wanted to write about, you know, one of the seminal moments in history? Uh huh. The impetus for wanting to do a six-day war book was kind of a Jewish midlife crisis with, with me. I didn't find out that I was a Jew till I was 12, I guess. And, uh, you know, my dad kind of laid it on me one day, and I said, whoa, you know? And um, that was, uh, you know, back in the days of, uh, this was, I guess this was the early, this was the 50s or something right, like that. Right, right. When it was kind of, uh, there was a lot of anti-Semitism around, and the like whole, I mean, not that there isn't today, but in any event, I, it was really clear that, you know, my family and a lot of the families that I knew were really from the assimilation school of being a Jew in America, you know, where you kind of, you know, my name Pressfield is the uh, anglicized version of Pretzfeld, you know, other people in my, which was a German Jewish name. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I realized that, you know, my family was like really ashamed of being Jewish. But I had acquired, just like every other American kid, a healthy, healthy dose of anti-Semitism, you know? Wow. So uh, I remember that my first thing that I, that I did after like a, a, a week or two of shell shock, I said, okay, I'm going to get with the program, you know? So I'm going to start going to temple. I'm going to connect with my Jewishness, da 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 So uh, there was no temple in my town, so I went to the next town, Chappaqua. <laughs> but what happened was the real Jews rejected me. <laughs> Because I was like this geek Jew that didn't right, know, like, yeah. know bar mitzvah, didn't know you know how to say shalom, and you know that. And plus, I was an anti-Semite. Self-loathing. This is a self-loathing so, goyim. Right. right. So <laughs> then came 1967, the Six Day War, and I, up until then, I had only been kind of vaguely aware that there was Israel. You right. Know? I mean, it was something over there, you know. Right. And suddenly, um, all over TV were. Jewish fighter pilots, Jewish paratroopers, Jewish guys kicking ass yeah. over there, you know? And the central character was Moshe Dayan Ugh. with the eye patch and, uh, you know, who was like a super stud, Absolutely. you know, guy with a great accent Coolest and all that kind of stuff, right? right? So suddenly I thought, wow, these are Jews I can relate to. Yeah, it's you know? not Shecky Green. They're my right? kind of yeah. guy here, you know? <laughs> and in fact, I was in the Marine Corps at the time and I was in the reserves at the time. So, um, I started to think to myself, wow. you know, why am I going to Vietnam, Vietnam or yeah. getting set to go to Vietnam? I didn't go to Vietnam, thank God. I should be in Israel fighting with Moshe Dayan, you right, know? Right. And, um, but then the war was over so fast. Six days it was over, you know? And then the next news cycle came along. So it sort of lived in, in my mind and uh, finally kind of popped out when we started talking about, you know, I, would, I had the idea that I should, I should write something about that. I've written uh, war books and about you know the Spartans, the Athenians, the Macedonians, the British, but never about my own people. Right. And I thought, and here's this great story, you know, the Six Day War, 1967, incredible story that nobody's. I mean, there've been a million books, but nobody's ever done it. You know, like I'm going to do it. A little bit prior to starting the Lionsgate, I met this guy, Rabbi Finley, Rabbi Mordecai Finley, in L.A., half Irish, half wow. Jewish. Red-headed guy with a ponytail, former Marine, son is a wow. Marine in Iraq right now, or at that time, and was a real, just a great teacher, kind of like a Robert McKee kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, he went yeah. to his classes about Jewish mysticism and stuff like that, and I thought, wow, this is incredible. I thought it was just, you know, a bunch of guys, you know, getting together this, on Friday you know? night. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> well, wow, this is great. Rabbi Finley, I love the guy. And he told me, that he had a similar experience with the, with the Six Day War in 67, where, you know, uh, Irish father, Jewish mother, not relating to their Jewish roots. Then the Six Day War came. They lived in Compton, you know, kind of a black wow. neighborhood in LA. And suddenly the whole family kind of sat down and they said, we're gonna connect to our Jewish roots, including the dad, Mr. Finley. Of course. So at that point, you know, Rabbi Finley kind of changed his whole life, you know, and he's like a white kid in Compton at the time. And he just kind of got into the whole thing, you know, got into being Jewish and became a rabbi. The other thing was that I, I knew, having this book, the idea of a book about the Six Day War, what I knew it would cha change me. You know, yeah. I knew it was going to force me to go to Israel uh, to meet with people. God only knows just what I was going to experience. Same generation you know? as you. Yeah. yeah, and and meet kind of people I would never have met before. Like, no clue what would happen. Me, right. Yeah, and I wanted that. 
you know, because I thought, this is going to be like, uh, you know, like a real world acid trip where you really go in for weeks and weeks and weeks deal. and you're going to come out on another, a different person. So um, I forgot if I told you that when we were talking that time, but uh, no, so that no, was you part just said, of my I was motivation. thinking about writing a historical novel about the Six Day War. <laughs> yeah. You, can you sell it? Yeah. <laughs> The most important thing for writing a proposal, you must make it definitive and original and, you know, got a lot of juice. Pressfield's only written fiction. He has no name in nonfiction. He's not a journalist.